Find the remainder when this cubic is divided by x plus 3. Show that x minus 2 is a factor of this cubic. Hence, factorize this cubic. OK, I've paraphrased the question here. So let's divide this, use the uh, remainder theorem then, to find the remainder. So a, so here. We need to put in f of minus 3, don't we? So that's the remainder. Equals f of minus 3, which equals, put minus 3 in here, 6 times minus 3 cubed, minus 13 times minus 3 squared, plus minus 3, plus 2. So what do we get? Minus 27 times 6, uh, 27 with a minus. Uh, there's three minuses here, so it's another minus. 13 times 9. And then minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. So 3 times 2, 327s are 81, aren't they? And two eighty ones are 162. So we can put that down. We can tap it in the calculator if we need to. 9 tens are 90, 9 threes are 27. 90 and 27, 117, minus 1. So it's minus 162, minus 262, 272, 279, minus 280 is the remainder. OK, so part B then shows that this is a factor. Part B here, f of uh, 2 then we need to put in, don't we, is equal to 6 times 2 cubed, minus 13 times 2 squared, plus uh, the 2, plus another 2. So we get 6, 2 cubed is 8, 6 8 is 48. 4, 2 squared is 4, 4 13 is 52. 2 plus 2 is 4. 48 plus 4 is 52, take 52 is 0. So that's B, part 1. Now part 2, hence factorise. So we know that's a factor then. Part 2. So, if it's a factor we can write x minus 2 times the a, times a quadratic, ax squared plus bx plus c must equal the cubic, must not which is 6x cubed minus 13x squared plus x plus 2. So we need to find a, b, and c, and then we can factorize that quadratic. So the cubic term comes from the first term expansion here. So compare x cubed coefficients then. It gives a is equal to 6. Now we compare the constants. see what we get there, because that's the other easy one to do. The only constant is minus 2c, must equal 2. So that tells us that c equals minus 1, doesn't it? So there's a, there's c. Now b, we can get it from equating x's or x squareds. Let's equate x's because it's just one of these. So how many x's have we got? We've got cx. C lots of x then from that term. Minus 2bx. Minus 2b, lots of x. So that's our x, to x terms on that side. And over there it's 1. We know c is minus 1. So that tells us that minus 2b. Move that over to minus c, which is 1. And 1 and 1 is 2. So that tells us then that b equals minus 1, doesn't it? Move the minus 2 from times to divide. 2 over minus 2 is minus 1. So, what have we got then? Uh, our f of x then, our cubic equation that we put, we wrote was equal to x minus 2. Um, 
a is 6, so it's 6x squared, plus bx, b is minus 1, plus c, which is minus 1. Now we need to factorize. At the moment I'm going to guess 3 and 2, just because that's a 1, and the difference is 1. And this has to be a 1 and a 1. So we want a minus, so if we put that as minus and this as plus, and we've factorized it here into the linear factors. Now let's just double check it, 6x squared. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 lot of x, and then plus times minus is a minus 1 times 1 is 1. So the cubic is factorized, which is what we wanted to um, show. Let's just check that, factorize this, which we've done. 